I'm Laura Farmer, and I'm from Springfield, Missouri, and I'm married to Andrew Farmer. We have three kids, Chloe 10, Charlie 3, and Hannah 1. When I met Lara and she was a social worker, I saw the work she did with kids and she constantly is making the world a better place. I was one of those kids that was just always very active, very healthy. I actually remember in high school I only took one sick day. Never really had any health problems, um, nothing, nothing noticeable, nothing major. On one of our first dates we played basketball and she beat me at a game of horse, or like I like to say, I let her win. When Hannah was eight or nine weeks old, I went back to work, and I had only been back to work for a few days. It was a Thursday, and we were going to take Friday off to go to Silver Dollar City for our anniversary. So that night, just like any other night, I came home, I prepared dinner, um, put the kids to bed, and it was probably about four o'clock in the morning. And I don't know, I had probably been up about eight times with either kid, and so I hadn't really gotten any sleep. And I was sitting on the floor with Charlie, and I was holding him, you know, kind of on my chest, and I was rocking back and forth with him, and I was singing um, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And it was in the middle of that song that I just felt immediately I knew I was having a heart attack. I um, immediately felt like my chest was being crushed. And so I told him, I said, Charlie, um, Mommy's going to put you down on the ground, and I need you to crawl back into your bed, and then I'll tuck you in. And so he did that, um, and he said, Mommy, I want some juice. And I said, okay, buddy, I'm gonna wake a Daddy up, and I'm gonna have him bring you some juice. Not only did I have the crushing pain, but I had, you know, my arm was going numb, I was starting to get nauseous and sweaty, and I couldn't hardly breathe. And so I gave Charlie a hug, and I kissed him, and I told him I loved him, because I thought that was the last thing I was gonna tell my son. And. I'll always remember that moment. So after that, I walked back to our bedroom and I woke my husband up and I told him, I said, Andrew, I need you to get up and to get Charlie some juice. And then I need you to come back and call 911 because I'm having a heart attack. And I said, you are? And she t went through some of the symptoms she was having. She was having tightness in her arms and it was difficult for her to breathe in and she was feeling dizzy. And so I said, sit right here on this couch that we had in our bedroom. And he's like, are you sure that it's not just stress? You know, you just went back to work. Hannah's only a couple months old. You know, could it just be all of this combination of things? And I'm like, no, I'm 100% sure I'm having a heart attack. I said, don't move. I'll go put Charlie back to bed and we'll come back and we'll call 911. When the ambulance and the first responders did show up, they treated me just as if I had had a heart attack and they gave me the aspirin right away. That's kind of the moment where the enormity of it all hit me. And we were just kind of sitting there thinking, what's gonna happen? You know, is this the last time I'm gonna see my wife? Is this the last time that um, I'm gonna be able to say goodbye? And um, they ran some tests. They did an EKG to see if I was having normal heart function and, and what that was looking like. And um, what was interesting was that my EKG did come back um, normal, in the normal range. And so they really, um, you know, they really did not think that it was a heart-related issue that I was having. I just kept telling them, please continue to check my heart. I'm very, very sure that I have some type of cardiac issue right now. And so they kept doing blood work and realized um, after they had run some tests for a while that the enzyme um, that is present whenever you have a heart attack, it's called troponin, um, they realized that that was elevated. And so that's when they decided, okay, you did indeed have a heart attack and we, now we need to figure out why. The doctor came out from doing the angiogram and said that he saw what he thought was a small hole and that's what he thought could have caused the heart attack. He said, we're going to use this implant to close this hole in your heart. It was actually a very easy procedure. I think recovering from the heart attack was almost harder than recovering from the procedure. People with the heart condition that I had, um, the hole in their heart, a lot of them have strokes. And I think that that's the scariest thing um, because in my mind, a stroke would be potentially a lot worse than a heart attack. A heart attack is bad enough. I think that life has been different because there's been a lot more focus on our health and our activities and just making sure that we're leading a healthy lifestyle. 
A couple of months ago, Laura said that she was going to be involved in this Better You program. And she shared with me how it was going to teach her a little bit more about heart health and about how to take care of herself and take care of her family. And, you know, I benefited from that probably more than what I was aware of. She changed our diet, she changed the way that we were eating, and she started exercising every day. Like after dinner, we would go for a walk. And so it got me working and walking and eating right. And I actually lost 30 pounds, and I was not aware that I needed to lose 30 pounds. <laughs> I also liked the idea of being on a team with nine other women, um, you know, who were kind of health conscious and like-minded, and maybe who had similar experiences. And this Better You program hasn't just helped her, but it's also shaped our family, you know, to be healthier. I think it's important to give to the American Heart Association because they fund um, important research that essentially saved my life. And now they are doing congenital heart defect checks on infants to hopefully prevent any problems um, like a heart attack or a stroke. Um, like I had right away. And I think that that's very important because my issue, if it had been detected in infancy, I wouldn't be here today having to talk about having a heart attack because I would just be living life like normal. The American Heart Association funds all kinds of important research and also has programs like The Better You that I've gotten to be involved in, um, where I have learned so many tools on how to be heart healthy and I've been able to connect with a group of women that have encouraged me and supported me through this journey. Um, I just think that that's great and that's how the American Heart Association has changed my life.